Son of a bitch, that was my phone. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone. What is up and what is good, YouTube, the World Wide Web? As you guys can see in full live HD, it is your host with the most, Paul Kiantu, back at you guys with a brand new episode of a FUBU Friday. Now today I actually have a very dope clothing haul from a new brand and I have not done any brand sponsored videos in a long time just because I see so many YouTubers putting on for brands that I feel they don't genuinely fuck with because the shit is whack as fuck. And so I really have been going away from that lane. However, a brand hit me up and I really like their product. So without further ado, I'm going to get into my knock wall haul. Go ahead, take your seats, class. So first lesson of the day is that Knockwall is actually a California-based streetwear company. And when they hit me up, I looked at their site and I was like, yo, they got some low-key heat. High key. So basically the first piece that your boy actually picked out is a very sick red leather jacket with the zippers on some Michael Jackson shit. Minus the touching kids, none of that flies here. None of that. So basically this jacket is made out of all synthetic leather, which is super dope because you guys know I am a vegan, I am an animal activist, and I definitely love really sick looking jackets that are not constructed out of animal skin. Primitive shit. So basically this jacket is very sick. It has a ton of zippers, an asymmetrical zipper going right down the middle. It has some really dope pop trunk wave, alien spaceship conations happening on the collar right there. Again, chrome plated zippers on the pockets right here. That's two of them right on the six pack region of your torso. It also has some very dope, almost like a bevel like texture, which is found on moto denim. So this is a very sick motorcycle-esque jacket right here with the little little uh, bumps and shit right there. Little, little speed bumps, you feel what I'm saying? You can fucking wheelie off them shits. It also has some very dope zippers on the sleeves. I love sleeve zippers. I love zipper pockets. And I think this piece overall is very sick with the asymmetrical zip so you guys can let it hang down and like hither or go all the way and unzip it. I do have to say though that some of the zippers aren't as buttery on this jacket as on some of their other pieces. So that's my only little uh, note of improvement that can be taken in is just a few better zippers. But the zippers definitely do look clean with the all chrome Jerome and this piece overall is very damn dope. Also, if you guys want to see what the pieces look like on body, then go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be wearing these pieces in this really dope Instagram series that I am working on. So check the link to my IG down below. The next piece we have up is a very dope extended little like winter coat, trench coat-esque type of thing with a very sick Sith Lord hood on it. So I thought this piece would be very dope when I saw it on their site. However, in person, I honestly am very disappointed with this piece. It looks like, I'm not sure if they tried to distress the edges or it was just made with very, very fucking poor quality, but there's not too much of this jacket to actually talk about in regards to positive size, aside from the cut. The fit of it is a little bit off as well and the material feels very cheap to be honest on this piece. So I don't know if the little uh, fraying was purposeful because there almost is so much fraying that I'm like, they had to have done this shit on purpose to make it look distressed, but then again, Shut the fuck up, bitch! There's not enough rain to actually look like it's supposed to be distressed. Like, I feel like this was a distressed jacket to have holes in other places or just like more little tears, but it just is very weird because there's all these tiny threads just coming off all over the jacket. And I feel like on a more high end, high fashion esque vibed piece, then there definitely needs to be that high end, high quality or just a shit ton of distressing. So it's in a weird middle ground for me right now. The buttons also are just pretty simple on this piece. So it definitely is a more minimalistic piece. And I would have to say that uh, overall, I am the most disappointed with this piece. However, the other pieces are straight flames. So let's get into those. Also, zips on the side slits. Bitch. Now following up that piece is easily the most fire piece that I think I got and you guys saw it Look at that all embroidered golden motherfucking vampire skull, bruh. This is straight Outrageous thread countation right here, man. Rumpelstiltskin would be so damn angry about this creation happening without his knowabouts, man. I swear to God, this is a fire ass piece. It got the end right there, so a tat right between the eyebrows. It has a very sick and vicious vampire teeth. Look at those canines straight killing people. And then on the front, it says Knockwall All Embroidered. So this is a very sick all embroidered bomber jacket, as if that was not enough. It has sleeve zips 
going all the way down the sleeves, which is definitely a very dope touch. And you also can unzip them, so that is pretty sick as well. So you actually can hide any type of narcotics all up in your sleeves right there. So these are big ass full sleeve pockets on both sides, which is sick as fuck. And these zips are straight buttery on this piece. So if I were to recommend one piece for you guys to get, it would be this fire ass bomber jacket. Now getting into some other pieces, I got three pairs of pants and I think that is where Knockwall actually shines is in the pant department. So I of course got some biker motherfucking denim. So I got the all blacks right here and these actually are hit with some little paint splatters on the ass and on the pockets. So it has some metallic silver chrome paint going all throughout. It has a very dope bevels and bumps all up in the moto region you feel me it got side cargo pockets on these gems which i definitely think is a very dope hit and the fit of these pants is perfect man i swear to god not too skinny not too baggy but just right in the stretch on this moto denim is out of this world so i am very stoked on actually having this sick pair of black biker denim pants so hats off to knock off for coming through for your boy can too now i got another pair as well and this is an all white pair they have a lot of colors on their site a lot of different fits and i definitely needed a white pair of pants because i do not own any as is and the buttons on these gyms actually say knock wall which i think is sick if only they did that on this extended piece it definitely would look dope as well but again just as the first pair had this pair also has the nice little waves on the ass the ruffles with ridges right here on the upper thighs it has a tiny pocket right here two pockets and again tons of detailed paneling on these pants so i was absolutely blown away by their moto denim and a white pair of pants for the summer you already know boy gonna be shitting on them bruh leaving brown stains on that ass just kidding so last but certainly not least in regards to the pants heat i got a pair of normal ass dope distressed denim and this is what i'm talking about man if you're gonna make some shit fucked up do it purposefully because this looks fire as hell the wash on these pants is absolutely incredulously insane it is a very dope dark denim with a very sick golden wash all throughout i really am stoked on actually having this pair of pants now these pairs of normal ass pants are not as stretchy as the biker denim so just know these are a little bit more stiffer but they are fucking cleaner than a Swiffer. Bars, bitch. Definitely a very dope pair of pants overall. And I really like wearing this with my diesel boots that you guys will see in a trip to the thrift coming up. So to conclude the knockwall haul, we have two more pieces that are chill wear. So they are in the Netflix and chill department, reflexes, bitch. So I have this a very dope pair of shorts right here. These are sick. And I have to vouch for the texture on these and the color because the texture, material, and color of these is absolutely gorgeous, flawless. How I see it is how I call it. Get your dick licked. Buy some. Now, the next uh, piece I got is a piece they just threw in. It is the simple, plain logo knockwall tee. So everybody in the club needs a little essential tee. And I do have to say that this material is very soft. And it also looks like they distressed this hoe. Yup. Yeezy season, Yeezy season with the distresses. So overall, I would rate Knockwall a solid eight out of 10 in regards to the pieces I got. It'd probably be a nine out of 10 if it wasn't for this extended jacket, but you guys already know I have to keep it real with my brand review. So if you guys would like to get any of the pieces, check the links down below. If you wouldn't like any of the pieces, then fucking don't check the links. But either way, man, thank you again for watching this episode of a FUBU Friday. Shout out to everybody at Knockwall. I definitely appreciate all the pieces. And again, follow me on IG to see the fits I construct with these pieces. Peace and love, and I will catch y'all next time. I am out. <sighs> Knock off. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.